Our country has many national labs covering a landscape of scientific disciplines. The ISS National Lab is the newest of our nation's labs, and we can study things in space that we just can't study here on Earth. ARC-2 is our second suite of projects going to the International Space Station with drug development, material science, all the way into the life sciences where we could improve human wellness here on the planet. On this mission, we're gonna launch a very interesting new piece of hardware that will significantly enhance our capability to conduct rodent research. Now that the space station is complete, we can move into the utilization phase. And so NASA came to us and cases came to us and said, look, this would be a great tool to be able to study bone density and microgravity. Can you develop it and can you develop it quickly? Until you get world-class hardware, you can't do world-class science. So what we're doing is we're enabling capabilities that they never thought possible on the space station. A bone densitometer basically measures the amount of bone loss that the mouse will see up in microgravity. So if the goal and objective is to try to cure osteoporosis, think about it, if we have accelerated bone loss in space and we have a control group of animals and a group that we implant with a drug and we compare the two, we can see is this drug effective at reducing or eliminating osteoporosis in, in the bones. Osteoporosis is very widespread and I think it can, this technology has a potential to have a huge impact on just the health and well-being of, of the older population. The more experiments we get into space, the more public that is, the more people are gonna realize that, hey, this is a very unique opportunity. So many people have put blood, sweat, and tears to get the space station built. Now, let's, let's make some great discoveries. 10 years ago, NASA was focused on completing the construction of the International Space Station. Now we're in the utilization era, and so we're trying to attract those innovative, non-traditional users. COBRA has a long history of developing new technologies and being some real game-changing moments. From the very first baffler product in 1975 to putting graphite shafts in metals, we have to come to market with the right product. We cannot come to the market with something which is inferior. It has to be bigger and better and stronger than the previous model that we have. And, and this is just the next chapter. COBRA Golf R&D is working with CASIS to put an experiment on board the International Space Station that's going to investigate plating characteristics on metals to determine if we truly can make a better product. I would say almost anything that is made, anything where you'd like to be able to make a much more complex structure that you can't make here on Earth, huge leaps can be made in that environment. Not only can Cobra Puma Golf learn something in microgravity about their golf clubs, but they also can take advantage of our seal, spaces in it. The Space Is In It seal is a logo created by CASIS that identifies the value of using this new environment to improve a product line or a service. It's just flat out cool and people understand that it's super high tech. And if you look at the golf club and can imagine all of the stuff that it's taken to, you know, to get us into space is in that golf club, from a branding standpoint, I, I can't see a better fit. I really can't. People have always been fascinated with space. It, it's the unknown. From the very first days of trying to put a man on the moon in the late 60s through to the International Space Station as it is today. This is an exciting period of time right now where we have the opportunity to join with non-traditional users, not just researchers, but commercial for-profit companies to improve life on Earth and ultimately benefit mankind. <laughs>